Hi and welcome to another KWM Tasting Note with me Andrew. Today we're trying Cal Bartlett's uh, Lundalena Priorat by Mark Reepwall uh, from the Gratalops Village 2016 vintage. Uh, so for Priorat, uh, if you've got your magnifying glass or can zoom in, it's this tiny little space up here in Tarragona in the sort of Catalonia region of Spain. It's quite a high altitude area Priorat. Um, key thing with that is its soils um, they have a special soil called licorella um, which is slate uh, to to me and you and it's kind of what made the region famous that and the american wine critics jumping on the bandwagon a number of years ago and making it very famous uh, around the world prior to that nobody really knew what it was about um, but they had some really fantastic old vines uh, like go into this here, the Grenache Negre, black black Grenache, um, Samso, Carignan, as well would be the key grape varieties in that particular area. This wine here from Mark Repol, who had studied wine making and then went and travelled around the world a bit and came back to his uh, family vineyards because he knew that they had a great resource there and this is when Priorat was starting to become noticed uh, and he wanted to make his own wines as opposed to selling it all into co-ops uh, and we're lucky that he has. Now very very small production wines maybe three four thousand bottles of any label maybe le less than a thousand or fifteen hundred and some of them. This one here is maybe two and a half three thousand bottles I believe. Um, Completely on oaks, 100% black Grenache from the Grathalop. Um, it has a, I think a clay limestone soil. Vine age, I'm not sure on, uh, 25 year old. Uh, they're completely organic as well and certified with it too, which is always nice. Um, vegan and all that, of course, too. So 2016, so pre-rat wines can be quite big and this is no exception. In terms of alcohol wise in this here, it is a pretty hefty 16%, so it's not for everybody. I'll, I'll say that much. Uh, it is seven years old at the minute, so it should be drinking pretty well, I would imagine. You can see, first of all, the color of it when you look through it. It is a more extracted version of Grenache. I tasted one just recently, which was the um, Mimetic by Galena PL from the Calatayud region up there, and it was significantly lighter in color compared to this. This is a lot more uh, color to it uh, due to the probably the dineural temperature fluctuations in a region like Priorat with the altitude. It's going to have cold nights and warm days and that builds thicker skins which gives it much more color to the actual wine. So with the bottle age in this here as well, uh, it's got sort of that, going into that garnet edge to it, so it's showing its age a little bit. Um, it has a little bit of extraction, but Grenache is not one of those varieties that typically will show you a lot of extraction. Now that's a, an indicator of warm climate, and this is a warm climate, but the skin itself of the grape is not thick, so it doesn't pull the colour out of it like the way of a Tempranillo or a or a Cabernet or a Sierra would do uh, in warm climates as well. So that's just something to bear in mind too. So on the nose of this, it's quite complex. You get the black fruit, you get a, a sort of dried uh, raisin almost. You get like a potpourri nose and a bit of leather coming through in there too. You definitely do get that mineral element coming through on it as well of the sort of soils, I think too. Mm. Lovely, rich mouthfeel to it, silky mouth coating. Quite peppery, quite spicy. The alcohol, even at 16%, is really well integrated on this here. Uh, it's maybe coming through as a little bit spicy, but it's not coming through as a burn or anything on the back of the palate. I've tasted wines significantly lower alcohol in this that are nowhere near as well balanced. So that's telling you that you've got really good ripe fruit. The winemaker's been able to balance the sort of potential alcohols in that with the fruit as well and deliver a drinkable bottle of wine. It is probably for me, it is uh, a sharing glass of wine. I think if you polished off a bottle of this, you'll, you'll know about it the next day um, due to the strength because it's simply so easy to drink and you will not realise you've drank the bottle until it's gone and, and then you'll realise when your legs don't work getting off the sofa. 
Um, so last thing, interesting name, uh, Lund Elena. It's named after the, the youngest daughter in the family, Elena, Light of Elena. So she's brought light to the vineyard and uh, the, the family, and that's where that came from. So quite a nice little story. Um, but yeah, if you want to try the wines of prayer at, uh, this is certainly Mark Ripple and his wines are certainly ones to follow. He makes some fantastic wines and the region itself uh, is fantastic. And also check out the wines of Monsant, which is just around Priorat. It's, it's like, if you think of a dartboard, like a bullseye and the 25. The bullseye is Priorat and the 25 is Monsant. Very similar styles of wine as well. Uh, great value too. So uh, yeah, that's the Cal Badalette, Mark Ripple, um, Lundalena. Pre rat 2016. Uh, until next time, cheers.